Hey there, thanks for checking out the Lynch blog. Uh, and of course, I have to comment on the whole Felix Baumgartner uh, record-breaking skydive from Sunday. There's not a lot I can say that hasn't already been said. Hell, most of you probably saw it with your own two eyes and thought the exact thoughts that I could say here, so I'm not going to waste your time with that. I will say that I just want to re-emphasize what I mentioned last week on the show, which was, hey, should he successfully complete this attempt, which he did, uh, all other daredevils slash stuntmen slash test pilots, whatever, ain't got nothing on this guy. What else could be done to top what he accomplished on Sunday? The answer is nothing. Nothing that anybody has thought up yet. I'm sure somewhere down the road somebody will. But uh, just amazing. Hats off to Felix Baumgartner. But the thing I wanted to get to, how about Red Bull? you got to give Red Bull a lot of credit here. The millions of dollars that had to be poured into the preparation and years of preparation at that for this uh, record-breaking attempt yesterday. And they were able to do this without hyper-marketing themselves. And Red Bull have really become masters of this. They've inserted themselves into sports that are just enough out of the mainstream to keep them very cool and very it, if you know what I mean. Red Bull has really done a great job of that. Hell, Dickerman mentioned this to me the other day. Uh, I remember Sideshow Dan. You guys remember him? He used to be our afternoon host here years ago. He was getting Red Bull sent to him, you know, <laughs> via the black market before it was even available in the U.S. And Red Bull now, you know, hugely popular. Lots of people drink Red Bull. Lots of people use it in their alcoholic beverages now. But they still remain a very cool, very hip, very cutting edge. And they've done it by this kind of grassroots, um, you know, sponsorship and associations that, you know, are with a lot of sports that the, the vast mainstream just isn't into. Yet they still have risen to the top of the energy drink category and done it without whoring themselves out. So I got to I got to give them a lot of credit, credit where credit is due. And I, I'll just uh, leave you with this thought. Nine out of ten other big corporate uh, sponsors would have had their logo on the side of that balloon as it went up yesterday. Red Bull didn't, and they should be credited for that. They made the focus on Baumgartner as it should have been, and as it was. Have yourselves a great day. Hope you can join me on the air after 3 o'clock.